Hello everyone, Reza here. Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to spend the time, probably mute my microphone and uh, switch to working mode, going around the splines that I've created, um, tweak some points, add some guides, and boost the overall quality of the hair that I have right now. Now, we call this part reflection, where we have made progress and we reached a point where we're almost there, but I feel like I need to go back to the guides that I've made uh, in a few lessons ago and make some tweaks, make some adjustments for lack of a better word. So I thought I would just include you in that process as well. Maybe um, speed up the video a little bit so you guys don't get bored. Put on a nice music in the background and make progress with this scene. All right. Let's get started.
Don't want to miss me. This is all you need. Be your everything, and yeah, I'll be your everything. Still too soon to feel. Please just say it real. More than just a thrill, not just in it for the thrill. I'm in it for the love, cause love it needs to touch it. You're pressing on my buttons, baby, let me tell you something. I'm in it for the love, cause love it needs to touch it. You're pressing on my buttons, baby, let me tell you something. I'm in it for the love. 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 Well, as you can see, this is a very manual process. There is another workflow where you create hair out of uh, geometry, but if you rely on guides, then um, it's good practice to just go back and forth, sanity check everything. As you could see, I revisited every single map and tweaked every single map in my modifiers. I went even back and tried different values for my CVs. Um, I added some randomness to my density map and tweak with density value to see which value works better for me. I added a guides, I changed number of guides using the sculpt tool and all in all, while you're managing your time, you just need to be mindful of your design and be mindful of the reference that you have and try to get closer and closer to the final look. Now, uh, I'm happy with this stage at this point of time. I'm going to continue with this and in the next video, I will show you how to add or include stray hair using a noise modifier. It's going to be extremely useful to add realism to your hair and really take it to the next level. So thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.